it's Di from Be Mommy with Style and today I'm going to be answering some of your questions in this question and answer video and today's topics are going to be holiday questions that I've been getting on different videos that people have asked about our holiday either traditions or budgets or what we typically do with those sorts of things so I'll answer those right off the top and if you are a newer viewer you may not really know if you've been watching us for a while you, you may know some of our traditions and what we typically do on like Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and that sort of thing because we generally do vlog those but I will go ahead and answer those in this video then I also have the questions over here that I last asked in the last question and answer video which has been about a month or a month and a half ago actually it's been quite a while because it was before we went to Disney so I've got those questions just to let you know I'm not gonna be able to get to all of them but I'll probably do a second question and answer video maybe towards the end of December and then that way I can answer all of these and I just did a call for questions on Facebook so I'll try to answer more of them at the end of December all right, so also I wanted to give a shout out to Dana from Ms. Diaper D for giving me a hashtag for this on the last question and answer video. She said, hashtag ask die, which I thought was a cute hashtag. So use that hashtag on Instagram or Twitter and I will try to find you that way as well. So for holidays, traditions, and budget, let's start there. So for traditions, obviously we've vlogged the past couple of years and we do celebrate Christmas at our house and we usually do something like little on New Year's. So we generally like to stay at home now that we have the kids and any family that wants to come is more than welcome to come here. But on Christmas, I really like to be home to do all the Christmas stuff here. So we open a couple presents on Christmas Eve and then when we wake up on Christmas Day, we see if Santa's come to visit and we open kind of the bulk of everything on Christmas Day. So as far as budgets go, because I know this is something that a couple people have asked and is always kind of a hot topic at this time of year, the girls' budgets really kind of sort themselves out. So they give me their wish list and I just try to make sure it's approximately even between the two girls. We'll probably, as they get older, start to get into where it's a little bit harder, but right now they're kind of into the same stuff. So it's really kind of easy now to make sure it's even. Typically, we probably spend in the range of like 200 to 250 for each girl. And that's probably total for gifts and stocking stuffers and everything. And then for family members and um, um, people other than that that we're buying gifts for probably around $50 but we don't like have a super huge family so it's not like we have like aunts and uncles and cousins that are all coming over to our house and we're doing gift exchanges with all of them um, we actually have a smaller number of people that we exchange gifts with so I while I look throughout the year the past couple of years, I've really just done all my Christmas shopping in the month of December. Um, and I am pretty much almost done. I've got a couple more things I need to finish up, but it's such that it's not such an absorbent amount that I can't just take it out of our regular um, extra disposable income or whatever. So I just do that and that's what works for us. But we don't have a super large family, so we're not buying for like a huge amount of people. If we were buying for like 25 or 30 people, obviously that answer would probably be different and I would be like shopping throughout the whole year. Um, as it is now, um, I've got like my parents and I always send things down to my mother-in-law. She lives in Florida, so she's not able to come up. Um, my sister, my nieces, and my best friends. And that's really kind of like the extent of it. So that's kind of our take on the holidays. And let me know if you have any other specific questions and I'll try to tackle those in a day in the life. So that way, probably it'll get posted before the holidays. So the next questions were all from the last question and answer video. And a lot of these are Disney questions because we were getting ready to go to Disney. And Dana from Ms. Diaper D asked, what are your favorite mouse ears? So Dana, these are probably my favorite mouse ears. I got them from Disney Way of Mind on Instagram. I don't do a ton of shopping on Instagram, but it's actually a store I found on Instagram. And I just like these because they've got the sparkly bow, they've got the cute little hidden Mickey or not so hidden Mickey here in the center. They do have macarons on them. They've got the little Mickey cookies over here. And I really like the detail that she adds on her ears where she puts like these beads around. I think that's kind of like her signature thing that she does. They're just really cute on. They've held up pretty well. I did wear these on her last trip and I really like these. So I'd say that these are probably my favorite ears right now with a close second being my Animal Kingdom ears that I bought on our last trip. 
So Natalie asked on the last question and answer video, what's our favorite character dining? And I would say for me personally, it would definitely have to be Cinderella's Royal Table. I just think the experience and being in the castle and seeing the princesses, it just is great for us. I mean, I have two girls and it works out great. And I really like it as well. I really like the ambience in there and the food and the service has always been fantastic. So Cinderella's Royal Table has definitely been one of our favorites and it is pricey, but to me, you're at Disney, you're you're there, you might as well have the full experience. And to me, that is really kind of one of the special things that we can do while we're there. Um, Dishing Up the Dodgers asks, what is your favorite Disney villain? And I would have to say Maleficent. So Sleeping Beauty has always been like one of my favorite movies off and on. And I really liked the Disney like refresh that they did in Maleficent that Angelina Jolie was in, where they kind of put a different spin on her story and made her kind of like, She's a villain, but she's there's a reason. Like it's not so bad. Um, I really like like the whole idea of like fairies and magic, and we watch all like the. Uh, well, I like Harry Potter, obviously, and we like all those like those Tolkien movies and all that kind of stuff. So I think that that has always appealed to me out of the Sleeping Beauty movie. So long story short, I've always liked Sleeping Beauty. So. Probably uh, Maleficent would be my favorite villain. Um, Grisha asked on the last question and answer video, I just wanted to touch on this quickly and I can do like more of these type of questions in their own question and answer video. But she did ask, do you, have you ever thought of getting a chore chart? She said, I realize the girls are a little bit young, but have you ever thought of getting one? We actually already have one. And if you watched our day in the life videos, I don't know, two years ago maybe, a year and a half ago, we were definitely living in Illinois still. I actually bought it and I had it up on the wall. It's a Melissa and Doug wooden one. And they were just too young to get it, honestly. They were too young to get it. So I've stowed it away and as they get a little bit older, I think we're probably, this summer, I'll probably pull it back out again and then try to start working with it. So yes, we do have one. We've tried it. It didn't quite work because they didn't really get it. I don't think 100%. They were still really young then. Um, so we'll probably try it again in the summer and and see if they, you know. I try things like that early and if it sticks, it sticks. If it doesn't, it doesn't. All right, so YouTube Lover Forever had a number of questions, so I'll try to get to a couple of these, but the first one off the top, she asked, who are your most inspirational vloggers? And I would have to say that I go through phases. I mean, obviously I'm uploading a lot over here in Be Mommy With Style, but I do also have my bag channel, which is where I started out here on YouTube, which is Bags for Bubbles. And we have a really tight-knit community over there. So I'd say that those gals are very near and dear to my heart. And I really enjoy like kind of catching up with that community when I can and seeing what's going on with them. And I kind of almost miss like I don't know, like being more up to date on what's going on in that community. Um, but I'd say like from that community, um, I love catching up Pink to Paris. She's one of my friends from um, Chicago. Definitely check her out if you're into purses. Um, also Just Jennifer, she just started vlogging. Check her out. And also BJ Taylor 2 She's got an awesome collection and we do similar types of videos. Like we do the reviews and everything. So I get... Um, I don't know, I feel refreshed when I watch their videos. But as far as actual inspiration, I would say that there's one vlogger I'm actually like inspired by, and that's Sparkly Blonde One. And the reason why I'm inspired by her, I found her a long time ago. She had a much smaller following when I found her. Um, she is a much larger channel compared yeah, to mine. She has just grown enormously, and the reason why I think that is is because she Faith is her name and she is Faith and Faith has not changed since the day I started watching her videos. When I turn on Faith's video, I know it's going to be Faith. I'm not trying to say it's a negative thing, but there's been a lot of vloggers recently that have changed their channel names and they've done like a big rebranding and that sort of thing and that's fine. If that's what you're inspired to do, that's great. But what I really like about Faith and why she is Probably like the only vlogger I could say is like actually like inspirational to me like I can turn on her channel and I feel like inspired to vlog is because Faith 
has not let YouTube change her. And I really appreciate that about her. She, right down to her name. Her name on YouTube is Sparkly Blonde One, and she doesn't have blonde hair anymore. And I love that. I love that. I love that she is true to who she started out being on YouTube and hasn't changed that. And so as I go along, if I start to feel kind of lost and that sort of thing, I feel like she is the person's videos that I would want to go back to and just kind of be inspired to keep doing what we all came here to start doing. So anyways, long story short, Sparkly Blonde One, I will put her link down below. She's incredibly sweet. I would love to be friends with her in person. I think we'd have a lot of fun shopping. And um, like I said, I mean, she just, she's, she seems to come across very genuine and she hasn't changed since the day that I started watching her. And I like that. All right. YouTube lover forever also ask, who do you think is your most girly child? I know that it's hard. So they're both girly in their own ways. When I first started out, when the girls were a little bit younger, I probably would have said Bella because Natalie seemed more athletic and that sort of thing. But now, honestly, these days, I think I'm gonna have to go with Natalie. She loves wearing tutus constantly. She wants to be wearing a tutu outfit and she likes she fusses over her hair constantly i think she's going to be very into makeup and nails and now bella has started she likes wearing dresses but she's not as frou-frou as natalie is about it so i think that natalie is probably the girlier girl although we all appreciate our pink and princesses for sure youtube lover forever also asked what is your kids favorite disney characters and i actually just asked them this the other day so natalie's favorite disney character is rapunzel and isabella's favorite disney character is Ariel right now so that may be a little bit of a surprise Natalie still loves Elsa and all of her frozen stuff but when you ask her what her favorite character is she says Rapunzel all right and then this is gonna be the last one for this video because I'm sure it's really super long and I'll try to get the rest of these later but M M wins one two six I'm sorry if I totally botched that she says how do you like Bella's shorter hair and have the girls name their uh, AG dolls and have they named their American Girl dolls so they did name the girl, the girls did name their dolls. They named them the day that they got them. Natalie named her doll Grace. Yes, I know it's not Grace the doll. She named her doll Grace because she really loves Grace. So she named her doll Grace. And Isabella named her doll Isabella. Isabella names everything Isabella. That's what Bella does. Bella has Build-A-Bears named Isabella. Bella has dolls named Isabella. Isabella names everything Isabella. I don't know what that is, but that's what she did. So we have Isabella and Grace in our house. And then the other question was, how do you like Bella's short hair? I love it. I think it suits her. I think it's adorable and we'll probably be keeping it like that for quite some time. So I'm going to wrap up this question and answer session. Let me know if you have any questions down below. I will try to get to them in a future question and answer video. And thanks so much for watching today. Have a great day.